everyone. Today's video is going over the top 5 nerf blasters that I have in my collection. For those of you who don't know, I like to paint and modify nerf blasters, and so these are the top 5 blasters I have in my collection. And if you see any of the blasters in today's video that you might think, hey, that's really cool, I want one of those, I'll leave a link in the description for each of the blasters that we if you wanted to buy one for yourself, you can. So I'll give you a firing demonstration and then I'll show up close the details on how the blaster functions and all that kind of jazz. Number five on my list is the Proceeds. It's been modified with an extension hopper and has also been modified to take a 3S LiPo. It shoots the little rival balls and the extension hopper gives it a total capacity of about 120 if I'm remembering it correctly. Number four on my list is the Spring Thunder. The Spring Thunder is a pump action shell fed uh, shotgun that can shoot almost any round. It holds four shells in the PVC tubing and then one in the chamber for a total capacity of five shots. The coolest part of the Spring Thunder is that after using a shell in the shotgun, it ejects it just like a real shotgun. Number 3 in our list is the Dark Zone Pro Mark III. It's been modified to shoot half-length darts and has a custom cage along with custom wheels. The motors are stock and it features a select fire switch for semi-automatic or fully automatic firing and runs on a 3S LiPo and shoots at about 150 feet per second. Number two on my list is the FDL Basic. It exclusively fires halfling darts and has brushless motors and two knobs on the top that gives it variable fire rate and variable motor speeds. Before I get to the number one blaster on the list, the honorable mention goes to the Dart Zone Pro Mark II, which is this tiny little pistol that, for the size, you probably wouldn't expect it to have that much power, but due to the beefy spring that's inside the blaster, it's shooting about 140 feet per second, if I remember right, and has an internal mag of six shafts.
number one on my list is the Lynx from Silver Fox Industries. It's hitting about 220 feet per second, so easily the hardest hitting blaster in my collection. I also told them to put my channel name, Stantman, on the side of the blaster because I wanted to. It has slam fire and is bolt up for having a really long barrel. And then at the end of the blaster there's a scar which gives the dart rotation whenever it leaves the barrel, therefore giving it more accuracy. What's also neat about the blaster is that I can take apart the entire thing, except for a couple of pieces, without the need of a screwdriver, 